Hello guys, Matt Lemke with True Gamer Goggles, Gamer-Goggles.com, and we have another figure forge for you. This one is Marathongul. Marth. Let me look at it again. Marthrongul from uh, Bones 3. Uh, this is a large-ish dragon, um, but he's going to go together like nothing, really. I mean, he's going to be fast. There's one thing I'm going to note now. Uh, let's see here. Where is it? These legs here, the front legs. Oops, that's a back leg maybe. I mean, they're dummy proof, so it's not going to matter here. Front legs have a divot, uh, so the wing is going to go into the body, and this piece is supposed to go into the divot. I don't know how well it's going to match up yet, but I, I thought you would like to know that before we get into the assembly. So, I'm using uh, Go To Glue from Loctite today, um, because, well, it puts a lot in. And it's, it's jelly. I like jelly glues. Is this the right side? There. It goes in there like that. I'm going to go ahead and do the other back leg. Uh, test to make sure it's the right leg first, which is going to be one of these. And because it's a big space, I mean, it does drip a little bit. I'm not happy about that. It's not as good as the other squeeze controls that they make. Um, is this the right leg? Yeah. But it puts it in in the right amount. You don't have to squeeze it like ten times. So now I'm going to put the legs on first, the back leg, or the other legs, because of that divot. Normally I would probably put the wings on first, but I don't think that's a good idea in this case. Trying to uh, there, put a lid on some other glue on the off camera. Um, so that goes in there like that. And at this point, he can freestand because he's only got three legs on the ground. Uh, and then I'm going to put this leg in, arm, eh, four leg, whatever you want to call it. This is the first time I've ever used the. Uh, Go to glue. I'm thinking I like it. Uh, now I'm going to do the wings. And like I said, the divots fit into the wing and fit into the body and the arms. So they actually are important on a different side than the other. And that's deep. So I'm going to put the lid back on the go-to glue, and I'm going to go to my uh, Loctite gel glue for this, because that's really deep. And I'm just going to go ahead and glue the other side, because I'm going to do that right now. And I'm going to go like that. Oh, you know what I didn't do, though? I didn't put any glue in the divot, which is kind of important, right? I'm going to hop over and do the other side. Wait, glue in the divot. Now don't push so hard at this point that you knock everything out of kilter. Bam. I'm going to go ahead and do the head next. Because I thought the head would be harder to do than it, it was. Push those together. Now, at home, if you're concerned about, like, dry time and gluing and things falling apart uh, because they tend to do that, I would just put your glue in, clamp or rubber band this together overnight. Same thing on the front part. Because uh, gravity is pulling the uh, wing down a little bit. 
So maybe uh, find a way to hold that up there a little bit better, maybe. But all in all, I think it's you're going to be fine. Uh, the glue sets pretty fast. And then the last thing to do is the tail. Tail can use some of this go-to glue. Um, again, the tail is dummy proof. And bam. Five minutes. If this was a pewter model, I'd still be struggling with this for another 40 minutes. Rawr, he says. Rawr.